Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back, I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day and girl I have some sweet sweet tea for you meaning that we're gonna be talking a lot about Southern Charm right now because not only the reunion, the first part of the reunion just happened which was very explosive and everyone was talking about it but also I have a little bit of tea we don't know if this is true or not, but I have some tea for you and we definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. Let's talk about this oh mess. Hey, yo, me. No. Is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? It's bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. All right, guys, before we start, it is time to give a shout out to our partners for this video, the people from Liquid IV. Girl, this is so good, and it's all about hydration. I have been taking this every single day after the gym, and it is so good. So if you go to the gym, if you are into playing sports, if you are into hiking, swimming, walking, whatever, this is for you. This will hydrate you twice as fast as water. It is super convenient, just little envelopes you take one put it on your um water and you are ready to go they have all these amazing flavors and um it's just really 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 good i 100 recommend it so if you want to get it go to the link on the description of this video and do not forget to use my discount code shade and empire and you will get 15 percent off plus free shipping so get your liquid iv right now all right, guys, so let's start talking about Southern Charm because this season uh, literally delivered a lot, okay? A lot, a lot, a lot happened. It was very good. The only thing that I was a little bit disappointed was honestly the season finale. And not because it wasn't like explosive like they show, it's because they miss the whole point of the fight and they try to make us believe that it was about something completely different of what actually was all right so i have been talking about this a lot i did i had the whole tea about what really went down at the christmas dinner party from both sides you know and i have all the tea on my channel if you go to my southern charm T playlist you will find it over there but basically very quickly the real reason why Craig and basically everyone on the main table got so upset had nothing to do with Leva Bonaparte just being angry of, of sitting by herself or like the whole thing that they tried to do and that she was randomly talking to Craig's um you know, partner and all of that. No, it doesn't have anything to do with it. Apparently, the whole thing was because Leva tried to promote her new show, uh, Southern Hospitality, which is coming now on Bravo. She tried to promote her own show, bringing her own cameras and her own cast to Craig's party. And I mean, maybe that's not such a big deal if you ask for it, but the whole thing was that she never asked for permission for any of the other, you know, guys from Southern Charm. And also, he, she never said anything to Craig about it. So that's why he was getting so upset. I don't know, guys, if you remember, there is a part where Craig literally goes on and says, this was supposed to be about me and my company, and now you make made it all about your things and yourself. It kind of like didn't make any sense because it's not like Leva was doing a big scandal in front of everyone. So it kind of like didn't land the same way. Well, that's what he was referring, you know, because Leva tried to use Craig's Canaver um, Christmas party to promote or to create and take footage for her own show. Yep, and that's the tea, and that's what happened there. So, 
that was that's why I was a little bit disappointing at the season finale because they definitely edit everything like it was something completely different and they kind of like tried to show like Craig was like this crazy guy who was screaming out of nowhere but it was not out of nowhere there was definitely something behind it all right now the reunion happened a very explosive reunion uh you know Let's start with the fact that Taylor and Shep are no longer together. And Taylor decided to definitely call out Shep for leading on on women, you know, for being unfaithful. And she used all kind of words. You know, she said that he has been with over 300 whores, that she was the whore who lost the longest. And then she says something like, you are using women to masturbate and that's not okay. And what's your number and the whole thing. Now, I do think, like, I understand where she's coming from, of course. Um, and she's also coming from a place of 100% pain. But at the same time, it's like, I mean, they were not even together when he was doing some of the things. It's just like, it's very complicated, I think, when it comes to those two. Um, she alleges that he cheated on her several times. He said that the only thing that happened was that he kissed a woman. However, she says that he was texting other girls or like doing or like looking and all of this. So I feel that the thing is that Shep will is not ready to have a relationship and he will probably never be ready to be in a relationship, you know? It kind of like stuck with me when Catherine says, I am seeing Shep become Thomas in front of my eyes. And I was like, yeah, that's the exact vibe that I'm getting. You know, like this guy who doesn't really want to be on a serious relationship, who wants to be jumping and like from, you know, model to model or whatever. And he's getting this kind of not even Peter Pan syndrome, but more like Leonardo DiCaprio syndrome, you know, like he only wants to date 20 years old, you know, and um, people who is going to get it excited, but he doesn't want to really set up, settle up, you know, and have a marriage and commitment and all of that. So my thing, and you know, because I'm, I like to think a little bit more forward is I don't think that's a bad thing itself, but you definitely cannot lead women into belief that you are that you want to have a serious relationship when you don't want one you know it's 2022 you can literally go and put on your raja profile and say like look i'm looking for fun i want to have an open relationship you know and that's a thing now and everyone is doing it so especially the new generation so everyone is having open relationships and if it works if that's what he wants then that's what she, he will be should be looking for right but he needs to be upfront about it from the beginning and be like let's just have an open relationship you know we are together but each one can do whatever they want believe me he will save so much time so much head headaches you know by doing that and of course um uh, Taylor is not that person because Taylor believes in monogamy. She wants to be monogamous and that's fine also, but she definitely needs to be with someone who believes the same thing. So I think that's the problem. The problem is that Shep kiss, keeps leading these women into believing that they are going to be able to have a relationship when they don't, right? So that's why I kind of like understood both parts of what is going on in there. Uh the whole ex thing between Olivia and Austin and Madison, a lot of, you know, things were revealed over there. Uh, Madison and, and Venita are no friends anymore, which I'm fine with it. Venita, you belong to this group. I actually like Venita for Southern Charm, you know? So, and I'm guessing that moving into next season, I don't know why I'm thinking Leva is not going to be part of the group anymore. I know she has her own show, so that probably is going to, like, buy. Uh, and I also don't think Think that Madison will be part of Southern Charm anymore. So I'm liking, you know, take those two out and definitely leave uh, Taylor, Olivia, and Venita. And I think that's a nice group to be around. And uh, no words about, you know, Catherine Denny's alleged domestic violence thing, which, you know, they, everyone is saying that it was Clef uh, Ravenel, the one who hit her in the eye. But 
I don't even know. I don't even think that she's going to say anything at the reunion um, about that, or I don't know. And that's where we are right now in a very explosive reunion. Now, I do have some tea, girl. Apparently, we don't know if this is true or not. This is literally gossip. But apparently, Austin Crow might be having a relationship with Taylor Green. Yep. I don't know how Austin is going to react to I'm um, Austin, how Shep is going to react to this. Now we don't know for sure, but this is coming from Dumois. And someone said Shep was at Commodore and left with a brunette. And then an hour and a half later, Taylor and Austin show up together to the same spot. Austin and Taylor stayed till close and were on a sidewalk together to get an Uber. Definitely looking very close. Now, I don't know if that means that they're doing something. We definitely saw the reunion that they there, there is love between the two of them. But there's also maybe could be just a friendship. Although, weirdly, I do think that those two might do a great couple together, if you really ask me, because Austin changed a lot. I, ha I have to give, you know, give him props because he was definitely not herself toxic person. And I kept saying, maybe now that he's not with Toxic Madison, then also he's like not being that toxic. So... I'm kind of like really like liking this new Austin and I think Austin and Taylor might be looking for the same thing and they might end up being a nice couple. So I, if this ends up being true, I will definitely be rooting for them, but I don't know how Shep is going to take it. Although he's usually now like super cool and chill. So he could also be like, oh yeah, I'll just do whatever you want with her. Anyways, I, yeah. The fact that Taylor quit her job to go with Shep around the world, I mean, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know. I will definitely have to think about it, but I will not have been like, I'm going to stop working forever. Like, I will definitely accept the trip and go like meet the world because that's like a dream go around the world meeting all these amazing places. And if someone else is paying, like, girl, take me. But as soon as we come back, I will definitely keep working. That's what I have been doing. But anyways, now um, she did it. She quit, quit, she quit her job. I don't know what she's doing now, but she quit her job to go with Shep. And then everything went to Shep. So I don't know. So anyways, that's the tea right there that I have for you guys. So let me know what you think in the comments below about this whole thing. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye!